two-thirds x plus 4 equals three-fourths ang h ni Peter is x plus 4 in two years yan. And ito na yung ating final equation na gagamitin to solve for the x. Hi everyone, this is Ash de Guzman and welcome back to my YouTube channel. For this tutorial video, we are going to discuss another type of word problem, the age problem. So without further ado, let's begin. Another type of word problem is the age problems. Problems that involve the ages of two or more people are very similar to number problems. Well, after all, yung age naman is just a number pa din. So this type of word problem is usually related dun sa ages ranging between two or more persons. More often, makaka-encounter tayo sa age problems or sa word problems relating ages na mga words like ago which means Pag sinabi natin ago, ibig sabihin is yung previous years. On the other hand, the phrases like, uh, for example, 10 years hence, 10 years from now, or 10 years, or in 10 years, all refer to years to come or years in the future. Since we need to have two relationships, these problems may cause you to consider the ages sa present time and at another time. In the past or in the future. So we have present, past, and future. Meron tayong dalawang main principle na kailangan tandaan when it comes to solving age problems. Yung una, note that yung difference of the ages of two persons is constant. Pangalawa, yung time elapsed for all persons concerned are equal. We might use all the keywords na makikita natin sa description for solving this type of problem. Example number one, Tony is four times as old as Steve is now. In 10 years, Tony will be six years old than Steve. So how old are they now? Since we are told how to find uh, Tony's age, if we know Steve's age, kailangan gamitan natin ng variable for Steve's age and determine the symbolic representation for Tony's age with the same variable. Let x be... And si Tony naman, according to the condition, Tony is four times as old as Steve is now. So present yan. For Tony's age, this is 4x. In 10 years, ito yan, makikita natin dito. It means that we will add 10 to each of their ages. In some word problems, kapag age problems, isang pinakamagandang way is to use a table. So paano ba natin gagamitin ng table yan? So ilagay natin yung person dito. Tony and Steve and and ilagay natin dito is yung past, present, and future. Since yung first statement natin, itong first condition natin is now, big sabihin present yan. And yung x na to is, dito natin lalagay sa present, and yung 4x is sa present then In 10 years, yung age ni Steve will be x plus 10. And si Tony naman will be 4x plus 10. So we should now translate the second sentence using this future ages and substitute the future variables. Again, in 10 years, Tony will be 6 years older than Steve. So paano natin isusulat yan? Ang age na nila after 10 years is si Tony muna. We have 4x plus 10. Ito, na, ito tayo equals yung age ni Steve after 10 years which is x plus 10 pero hindi pa ito yung ating final equation kasi ang sabi pa rito is Tony will be 6 years older daw and when we say 6 years older i-add natin yung 6 years sa age ni Steve lalagay natin dito so plus 6 yan now meron na tayong equation we can now solve for the value of x combining like terms by simplifying and combining like terms, magkukuha natin is 4x minus x equals 10 plus 6 minus 10. So this is 3x equals 6. And solving for x, divide both sides by 3. This is now x equals 6 divided by 3 is 2. Therefore, yung x na yan, dinedenote niya yung age ni Steve. Ibig sabihin, ang current age ni Steve is 
2 years old. Well, si Tony naman is 8 years old. Using this equation, Tony's age is 4 times x. And yung x nga is yung age ni Steve, which is 2. So, this is 8 years old. Si Steve naman is again, eto na siya. This is 2 years old. And this is example number 1. Example number 2. Nat is 27 years old and Elena is 21 years old. How many years ago was Nat twice as old as Elena? In this problem, the variable is the number of years in the past and we have to subtract this amount from their current ages. So let x be the number of years in the past. Therefore, uh, years ago or simply ito, x years ago, Nat is... 27 minus x years old, while si Elena is 21 minus x years old. So, meron tayong given relationship dito from Nat and Elena, where Nat's age is equal to twice as old as Elena. Ibig sabihin, this is 2 times Elena's age. Meron tayong nabuong dalawang equation here, which is yung age ni Nat, years ago, x years ago, which is 27 minus x, and si Elena naman, which is 21 minus x. Substituting itong values na to dito sa equation natin, we have Nat's age x years ago is 27 minus x, and Elena naman, we have 2 times 21 minus x. Simplifying and solving for the x, we get we have 27 minus x pa din here. And this is 2 times 21 as 42. 2 times my negative x is negative 2x. So solving for x, x is equal to 15 years. Ito yung hinahanap sa atin na answer. Years ago, we have 15 years ago. Nat was twice as old as Elena. So this is the answer for this problem. So check, we just have to compute the... Ages nilang dalawa, 15 years ago. Nat was 27 minus 15, so that is 12 years old. And Elena was 21 minus 15, so that is 6 years old. So clearly, 12 and 6, therefore, correct ang ating answer. And this is example number 2. Example number 3. 2 years ago, Bruce was 2 thirds as old as his brother Peter. In 2 years, he will be 3 fourths as old as his brother how old are they? Let's try to use again the table to analyze and solve this age problem. Bruce and Peter is past, present, and future. Dito again natin lalagay yung mathematical equations natin. So when we say R, ito yan, or is, ang tinatanong dyan is yung present ages nilang dalawa. And 2 years ago, when we say 2 years ago, that means sa past yun. 2 years ago, Bruce was 2 thirds as old as his brother Peter. So let X be the age of Peter. So lagay natin dito is X. And again, 2 years ago, Bruce was 2 thirds as old as his brother Peter. So this is 2 thirds X. Ibig sabihin sa present, uh, itong equations na to, 2 years ago, sa present, mag ng 2. So, this is 2 thirds x plus 2. Ganon din kay Peter applying the principle na na-discuss natin sa introduction. This is x plus 2. Sa second condition natin, meron dito na part na in 2 years. When we say in 2 years, future yan. Future Add tayo ng 2 years again. 2 thirds x plus 2 plus 2 ulit dahil future na to. Ganon din sa age ni Peter. x plus 2 plus 2. In 2 years na yan na nag-add tayo ng 2. For Bruce, again, we have 2 thirds x plus 2 plus 2 or simply 2 thirds x plus 4 na lang. And dito is x plus 4 na lang. For a final condition, again, in 2 years, he will be or... Bruce will be 3 fourths as old as his brother, Peter. So, si Bruce is equal to 3 fourths as old as Peter's 
Cage and this is in 2 years. I-relate natin dito yan sa future. Kasi yung future is in 2 years. I sa substitute natin dito yung ages ni Bruce, yung age ni Bruce and age ni Peter in 2 years. Nandito sa table na ginawa natin for Bruce, we have 2 thirds x plus 4 and si Peter naman x plus 4. Substituting for Bruce, we have 2 thirds x plus 4 equals 3 fourths ang age ni Peter is x plus 4 in 2 years yan. And ito na yung ating final equation na gagamitin to solve for the x. Simplifying, we have 2 thirds x plus 4 equals, this is 3 fourths x plus 3 fourths times 4 is 3 na lang. So solving for x, x is equal to 12. And yung 12 na yan is yung age ni Peter in present. Kasi ang question is, how old are they ito? Peter's age is equal to 12 years old. While si Bruce naman is equal to, so gagamit na lang tayo ng any equation. So ang gamitin na lang natin is yung present. 2 third x plus 2. This is 2 thirds. Ang age ni Peter na x is 12 plus 2. So this is 2 thirds times 12 plus 2 is equal to 10. Ito yung ages nila in the present time. Peter is 12 years old while Bruce naman is 10 years old. So this is example number 3.